Hi, today we want to take a look in QuickBooks and we want to look at how you go about creating an invoice in QuickBooks Online. So you may be asking, well, what exactly is an invoice and why am I going to create one of those? Whenever you as a business charge people for doing things or for selling them things, you need to give them a receipt. Well, a lot of people want invoices. So we're going to create an invoice and show you how to go about those steps in QuickBooks Online so you can get an invoice out to your customers and they can pay you. First thing you want to do in QuickBooks Online once you've logged in is you're going to go to the sales category. So we're going to go to overview so you can see the whole page right now. And the first thing we have the tabs all across the top that we can look into, but we already set up a customer in a separate video. So go check out that video if you're not sure how to set up a customer, but that does need to be done first because you have to have your customer in there in order to build them. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to products and services in QuickBooks. You have to have things called, items in order to invoice. So when you'll see that more when we get into the invoicing screen, but right now let's take a look at how to set up an item because the item is what you're actually billing out. So we're going to go to new and then it's going to ask us, is this a non inventory item? So like products that you buy or sell, but you don't need to keep track of them for inventory purposes. A side note is if you have to keep track of inventory in QuickBooks, then you are going to need a different version of QuickBooks online. And you may even need QuickBooks desktop, depending on the um, amount of inventory items that you are having to keep track of. So that is for a different discussion, but for now we're focused on simplicity purposes. So we have non inventory items. This is something that let's just say that you are selling t-shirts. You have a, a business in your home, you're making t-shirts and you're selling them. So you want to create an invoice here. You could choose that services means you're doing consulting work. You're doing accounting work. You're doing any sort of service. Maybe you're a repairman. And so that would be a service work as well. So labor for repairs, whatever you might be. And then the bundle part of it, it's a collection of products that you want to sell together. So if you have, you want to keep track of items for, um, Maybe you have a basket of the month that you sell to your customers and then you put certain things in it and they sell it for a certain price. That is what you can use for that. So right now we're going to look at a service one and we're going to call this um, monthly accounting fees and SKU is if you are keeping track of that barcode. You could put something there. You can actually also set up different categories. This is something that if you have a lot of different items that you're going to be tracking and billing out in QuickBooks, you can set up categories for those items. And then description, um, this is description for your sales form. So we're just gonna call this again. You can get more descriptive than this, but we're gonna call it monthly accounting fees. Sales price and rate. You don't have to put that in here. You can leave this blank. You can put that sales price in whenever you do the invoice or you can go ahead and put a base price in here and then you can put how many units it is. So if you're charging hourly, then you could put in that your hourly rate is three ninety five. And then I'll show you how you can use that when we get to the invoicing screen. And then this is where you're going to put your income account. So sales, sales of product income, you may break this out and you may have multiple chart of accounts um, with different income accounts. This is where you assign where this item gets put on your profit and loss statement whenever you bill it out. So we're going to save and close. We could also, we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at a non inventory item. Same thing, same information right here. All of it's the same. It just QuickBooks categorizes these items differently. So I just wanted you to see that it is the same information right there. So now that we have our items, into QuickBooks. Now let's, let's do an invoice. Now we can, we have our customer in, we learned how to do that in a separate video. We've just got our items in. And so now we're going to go to invoices and we are going to create an invoice. So we have to tell it who we want to bill. So we're going to bill Smith company. If you had an email address in there on that customer screen for this customer, it would have popped up right here, but we don't. So we're going to actually enter one because now we know what their email address is and where they want their invoice sent. 
we're gonna email this invoice to them. We could print it out and mail it to them, but we're going to actually email it to them. You also have the option of telling it that you want it to send to the customer later. So that's a nice option. And then if you have your QuickBooks Online set up for online payments, you can check those boxes here as well. So we wanna check, we wanna make sure our billing address is accurate. That came from the customer screen. Our terms came from the customer screen. We can change it here though. So if we wanna say, right now it's saying that it's due on receipt. Whenever they get the invoice, they're supposed to pay it. We can say that they have 15 days to pay it, 30 days, 60 days, and we can actually set up our own terms as well if we'd like to by hitting add new. All right now, we're gonna leave it as due on receipt. Our invoice date is today. Due date is today also because it's due on receipt. If we had said net 30, it changes it out 30 days. Invoice number, it automatically assigns one. If you wanna change it, you can. And then here's we're going to say what we're billing for. So we're gonna bill for monthly accounting fees. We select that one. It brings over our rate that we entered over with the item. So we're gonna say that it was four hours. So we're gonna type in a quantity of four and tab over. We can also add more to the invoice. This is where we want add more to it. So we can say that four hours of accounting work, even though the four hours are gonna show up on our invoice as well. But that adds, lets you customize just a little bit more. And then let's say, okay, we have other things we wanna to add to this. So we also, we had consulting, um, and then you could type in whatever you want business and then say it was two hours so now we've got our invoice set up and down here we would be ready to we can print it we can make this invoice reoccurring to where it's going to reoccur and then we can set how often we want it to reoccur so it's automatically creating this invoice on your behalf we can customize some things we're not going to dig into that today and then we can save or we can save and send so if we hit save and send it's going to email this invoice to your customer unless you have selected the send later so we're going to save and send send email there's who it's going to it writes a little note for it you can change that note if you would like to you can change that body and then send and close and now you've invoiced they have their information to pay you through that invoice. Now that we have an invoice set up in QuickBooks Online, now when we go to Invoices tab, it actually shows us that it's here. So let's take one step further, and they've paid us. So now in order to receive that payment, you walk back in tomorrow and like, oh, they paid us. So we have to mark that invoice paid. So we go to Invoices tab again, same tab, and then you can receive payment. Once you receive payment, you're gonna tell them how they paid you. Check, cash, credit card. You can put a reference number in. You're gonna deposit this into your bank account. It's applying it to the invoice because they've paid the full amount. They could pay a partial amount. If you did that, you could change this here and be like, well, they only paid $1,000, so then they're still gonna have a balance due. And then also, if you had multiple invoices for this customer in here, you could choose down here on the left with there would be, all of them will be listed and there'll be multiple check marks where you could choose which invoice you wanna apply the payment to. So once you have it applied, you can say save and close and you're paid. Now you can see you have no unpaid invoices and this is what's been paid in the last 30 days. So that is how to create items to bill out through an invoice in QuickBooks Online. And make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and have a great day.